This year, our class has chosen Mr. Tom Waskevitz as the recipient of the Distinguished Alumni Award. Mr. Waskevitz is a graduate of Hoffman's class of 1974. He's been a member of the school had the committee for 22 years. Mr. Waskevitz was always an advocate for the students of the Hopkins community and also a vital member of the Hadley community. This, the class of 2013 is, a, is proud to honor Mr. Tom Waskevitz. This is beautiful and unexpected. Thank you, class of 2013. Wait, wait, there's a little bit more. I got a little bit more. <laughs> and you thought you were out. What a difference a week makes. Uh, seven days ago, I was trying to think of an apology as to why I wasn't wearing a jacket up here tonight. Um, I thought it would be uh, about 97 to 100 degrees, so we are fortunate despite the rain. Hadley School Committee, Hopkins Academy Board of Trustees, uh, faculty, Mrs. Moyer, Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Rooney, uh, Principal, friends and family, and class of 2013. It's a great honor to have been selected as a distinguished alumni of Hopkins Academy. When I started out on the school committee in 1986, our son Mark and daughter Julie were yet to be born. Since then, Mark has graduated from the University of Massachusetts at Amherst and works in finance. And Julie recently graduated summa cum laude from the largest class ever to, attend, ever to attend Elms College. Thank you, Hadley Elementary School and Hopkins Academy faculty and staff. You have my utmost admiration, appreciation, and thanks for all that you do on a daily basis to make the Hadley schools second to none. No one could be more proud of our outstanding students, and then tonight especially, the class of 2013. It has been a privilege to serve you ultimately as you progress from each grade to each grade. At my last school committee meeting, my colleagues presented me with a frame memento, signed by all those I worked with over the past 22 years. Those who signed, like you, students of the graduating class, have made their mark on the Hadley schools. And they, like you, will be remembered for each unique contribution that they made, each one of them and each one of you. Before, though, we send you off into the world as representatives of the Hadley school system, we want to make sure that you're fully prepared. So I thought a few questions, kind of like a final quiz, would help. You've heard of, are you smarter than a fifth grader? This is, are you smarter than the audience at your high school graduation? There are five short questions, and because the students on stage are being honored tonight, we're gonna to let them answer the questions first. If they get the answer wrong, or fail to answer the question, we're gonna turn it over to the audience. Okay? Ready, class? So this is participatory, you gotta respond. The first question is multiple choice. Hooker School was named after General Joseph Hooker. General Hooker, who was a student at um, West Point, fought in which war? A, the Hadley Hatfield Skirmish, <laughs> B, the Civil War, or C, the Peasant Revolt in Albania? What do you think, class? Okay, uh, give, me a, give me a good answer here. <laughs> We're going with Bill, go majority, the Civil War. <laughs> I admit I wasn't quite ready for this response. <laughs> the Civil War. And it would be another 144 years before another Hopkins graduate would be accepted into West Point, into the Military Academy. He happened to be my classmate, Stephen Kostick, class of 1974. The second question is a math question, so get your calculators out. Hopkins Academy is gonna be celebrating its 350th anniversary next year. 
how many decades old will Hopkins be in 2014? Please, please. 35, 35, yes. Kudos to the math department. Thank you, math department. Class of 2013, two points, audience, zero. <laughs> when I was in elementary school, Russell School housed two classes. This is multiple choice. They were A, kindergarten and first, B, 11 and 12, or C, fifth and sixth. I think I hear more C's. I hope I hear more C's. Fifth and sixth, right. Class of 2013, three points. Sorry about this. From 1954 to 1956, one of Hopkins' teams won three straight Hampshire League championships with a winning streak of 42 consecutive games, setting a Western Mass record. Multiple choice. The sport was A, water polo, <laughs> B, basketball, or C, softball. B, basketball. Okay. And we have two players from that team in attendance tonight. Mr. Ted Kozier and Dr. Joseph Zagrodnik, and both also represent the Hopkins Academy Board of Trustees. Okay, so it, it looks like it's four to nothing, according to my, my calculations here. What do you think? Why don't we give the audience an opportunity to get into the game here and maybe make it a little bit more competitive? So audience, this is your question. You get the answer first. Hold back your answers, class of 2013. In square feet, what is the total area allocated to teaching space in the elementary school and Hopkins Academy? Did you not hear the question? <laughs> okay, no, nobody? Okay, good. I have no clue. No clue. <laughs> we're we're going to throw that one out. We'll let that one go. But we'll give the audience one more last chance, and we'll make this worth four points so you can tie up this game with the correct answer. What high school was founded in 1664? It's situated in the beautiful Connecticut River Valley was recognized by U.S. News and World Report with both the Bronze and the Silver Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence and is about to graduate one of its greatest classes in its 349-year history. Hopkins Academy. It's a tie. You all win. Thank you very much.